Hi friends, Andrew Carruthers here, Education Director for Sambia. Today we're here with my good friend, Steve Gomez. How you doing everybody? And Steve is a premier business coach in our industry. We're very lucky to have him here. And we're talking about something that so many of us, after we get really busy behind the chair, tend to let slip. And that's the simple thing of consultation. Such a powerful thing. And yet a lot of times it's one of the first things we let go of. For sure. This is a three part series. So check the information box below. This is the part two. If you missed part one, the information's down there for you. So let's get into part two, Steve. I want to continue talking about the importance of preparation. Uh, a lot of times we're not giving ourselves the time that we need to think about our customers before they show up. Mm -hmm. Uh, are you coming in 20 minutes before, 15 minutes, 30 minutes before your shift to be prepared? Uh, are you taking the time to pull up client files, to uh, look at their purchasing patterns? Uh, what have they gotten done over the last three visits? Uh, what season are we going into? Um, what could I recommend knowing what I know about my guest that can benefit them? If you're doing those things, you're gonna become more grounded, you're gonna become more confident, more sure about the day ahead of you, uh, more clear and sure about what you want to present to your customer. And it, it, it's just a natural progression is going to happen because of that. So if you're coming in and blowing through the doors five minutes before your shift begins and they're sitting there waiting for you and your makeup's not done and your hair is not done and you're in rush mode, uh, how does that feel? How's that going for you? What, what's that like for them? Give yourself the extra time. Remember, you are a professional and you're an artist and it's critical that you give yourself the time to think about what's happening and visualize it before it even occurs that's gonna help you be that much more empowered and prepared. Makes a big difference. Absolutely, and I know for me, those days that I did show up 20, 30 minutes ahead of time and I did look at, okay, well, what did I do with Mrs. Johnson last time and what, where might I want to go today? It also helped to relieve some of the stress in the moment that they sat down. Because if I haven't even thought about what, <laughs> what direction I'm gonna take until she sits in my chair, you kind of get that rush of emotion. For sure. You know, you feel that stress of like, oh, I don't know, she's preparing for the wedding, she might not wanna spend money, you know, all these different things. So that little bit of preparation really helps to relieve that stress as well. Yeah, you know, and, and the last thing I'll say is this, you may be sitting there saying, well, I can't come in 20 minutes early, I have to drop the kids off at school, I'm rushing mm -hmm. just to even make it on time because that's real, got it. So maybe at the end of your shift, you pull up your day before you leave and go home. Uh, if that doesn't work, because you have to rush off to go home and or pick up the kids and cook dinner and do all those things, then maybe at the end of your week, you schedule in the time to look at your week ahead and you begin to jot down notes and be prepared for each day. So it only takes you a couple more minutes to think about it because you took the time at the end or at the very beginning of your week to be prepared. Play with it. Anything's possible. You just have to make that commitment to give yourself the time to think about people other than when they're just sitting with you right then. Brilliant. And again, if you didn't see part one, check the information box below. And part three is coming as well. And that'll be there as well. So please leave us your feedback. You know, Steve would love to hear what you're thinking Amen about this information. And of course we would love as well. And yeah. I love what you said earlier, you know, you mentioned to him, let's start a dialogue. Let's yes. get a conversation going. Absolutely. Any best practices or ideas or feedback that you want to share with us, let's get a conversation going. We're artists helping artists here. Thank you. So thanks so much for watching. I'm Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for Sambia. And I'm Steve Gomez. See you soon. Thank you.